Hey everyone, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Powder. The brand recently sent me every single shade in the collection, which made me think it was a new product, but based on you guys' reaction when I first tried this out about in a video about a week ago where I was doing a getting ready with me, sharing my first impressions on this foundation, a lot of you guys said that you had tried this but weren't aware that it was a powder foundation. So for whatever reason, this has just kind of slipped under my radar, but I love powder foundation, so I was really glad to give this a try. I have been using it every day in various different ways that I'll talk about in this video for about the past week, and so let's go ahead and dive in, talk about it. So first let's start with the details, like about what this product is supposed to be. I'm reading from the card, but this is basically the same information you can find on the Physicians Formula website. It's, it's a long wearing, buildable, breathable powder foundation that provides lightweight, medium to full coverage uh, with a healthy satin finish. It talks about there are lots of good ingredients like um, vitamin A, C, E, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, and also SPF 16. But I will say I don't tend to rely on my foundations for my sun protection just because you're supposed to reapply it throughout the day. I think you rarely apply as much product as is necessary to get that full protection. And then you're supposed to reapply SPF throughout the day anyway, because the efficacy degrades. So I just, I tend to rely on other sources for my SPF. But if you like having an SPF on your foundation, know that this one has 16 in it. There are 12 shades in this collection that are divided into light, medium, and deep skin tones, and then further divided into warm, cool, and neutral skin tones, which I was pretty excited to see at first, but I'll be honest, I still had a little bit of an issue finding my shade match. I'm going to swatch the light and medium shades here for you right now so you can get a feel for what that spectrum looks like, but I'm going to uh, skip on uh, swatching the deep shades just because I don't think they'll be helpful to see those shades swatched on my skin tone, so I'm going to keep them all sealed up and donate them instead. So here you can see the light and medium shades swatched on me, and I feel like you can see a really, like, a pretty pronounced divide between the light and medium, and that's kind of where I get caught up here. So the first shade that I reached for was LN4, which is basically the deepest light shade, which is also a neutral shade. However, it was still a little bit too light for me. Like, I felt like it really flattened my complexion, really washed me out. Out. So I stepped up to the lightest, which was also neutral, which is MN3, which was way too deep for me. So I played with, you know, using a combination of these, using MN3, the deeper shade around the perimeter of my face is more of a bronzer and the lighter one down the center. But then I ended up with, you know, kind of a line of demarcation, a mask. Long story short, I still have not found like my perfect shade in this foundation. And because it's a powder and a relatively full coverage, I mean, we'll get into those details a little bit later, but because it has pretty good coverage if you need it to, I just needed a better shade match in this collection. So as a foundation, the coverage is definitely buildable just like it promises, but I would not call it totally full coverage. And I think you can see that in the first video I ever did with this. I was not totally pleased with the first few passes I did applying this dry. It built up, but I still had some healing blemishes. I think it was most apparent like on my forehead where I had some discoloration due to blemishes blemishes, it just would not cover that up. Like I definitely would have had to put a fuller coverage concealer on underneath to then go in and set and further cover that with the foundation over top. Now I did use a setting spray to mist all over my face and then go back in with the foundation to layer up more just to help buff it in, layer it up a little bit more, build that coverage. And I did notice it really helping to build that coverage and also give my skin a nice dewy natural glow to it and keep things from looking a little bit too powdery. However, what I noticed quickly started happening with my powder is that it got hard pan really, really fast, which is a pretty expected side effect for a lot of powders out there. But just know that this is this definitely isn't a wet dry formula. Like I think it's best used for the longevity of the product anyway as a dry product. Or if you wanna mist your face, really load your brush up dry and then go and buff it in across your face. As long as you're not going back in the pan with a wet brush or spraying the, you know, for whatever reason, if you were to spray something directly into your pan, just don't do that because you're going to get hard pan pretty fast with this stuff. In addition to how buildable this foundation was, the other thing I noticed in application here was I have to be really careful with how I prime my skin beforehand, like really have to moisturize with skincare. Almost every time I use this, I also went in with a hydrating primer, the Smashbox Primerizer, 
I've been going in between the regular formula and the new crystallized version that I just got in PR from them because it's one of my favorite primers, but I have noticed that I, I really need to make sure my skin is ultra hydrated with this because even though it has those moisturizing ingredients, so it says in this formula, it still leaves my skin looking a little bit dry. And the one day that I didn't take every precaution to make sure my skin was hydrated, it definitely looked powdery and it took a little bit of wear throughout the day for my skin to produce its natural oils and mix with that foundation to really feel like it looks natural and not kind of cakey and powdery on my skin, especially when I'm building it up to the full or coverage that I tend to like with my foundation. So just a watch out. I don't think this is for a drier skin type, definitely for more of a combo, oily skin type. But even then, I have combo skin. I tend to not have any issues with foundation. Like more often than not, they break up because I produce not a ton of excess oil, but enough to where I need some oil control throughout the day. And even with that kind of skin, this just, you know, had a tendency to get powdery when I wasn't moisturized well enough. Last, let's talk about the wear time. I was actually pretty pleased with longevity of this stuff, even if I didn't love the way it looked throughout the day. You know, it started out kind of more on the drier, cakier looking side of things as it wore throughout the day. And like I said, it just started to look a little bit more natural and did not budge by the end of the day, like didn't break up in the center of my face. I didn't feel like I was an absolute shine factory. So this formula definitely has that going for it, but in terms of how I prefer to wear my foundation, I just need a little bit more coverage from my foundations and maybe even a little bit more hydration. Like for instance, kind of my go-to holy grail, one of them anyway, is the MAC Studio Fix. This I find has the absolute best coverage, truly a buildable foundation to full coverage, and just doesn't leave my skin feeling like the moisture has been totally sucked from it. Like there are definitely some hydrating ingredients in here that keep my skin feeling and looking hydrated and moisturized despite the fact that it's a powder. It just blends really nicely in with my natural skin, um, you know, oils and textures and everything that I have going on. I find that I have to work a little bit harder to get those same results with the Physician's Formula and even then it still won't get quite up to the coverage that I want. So long story short, I would recommend this foundation to those with an oilier skin type, those that aren't going to have to worry about it looking too dry on them, and people who don't necessarily want an ultra full coverage foundation, if you don't have a lot of discoloration or blemishes to cover up, a more of a natural finish, this is going to be for you. Personally, the way I've actually found that I like to wear this foundation and, and the way I'm wearing it today comes from an idea from one of you guys or, or the way that you actually like to wear it. In the comments section of that first video that I posted trying this, you said that you love to use this as more of a setting powder on top of the healthy foundation, which is the liquid version of this. And I had totally forgotten about this. This actually makes made my 2017 favorites. I loved this and used this so much. So I went back to using it, re-fell in love with all of it, the coverage, the finish. I love the luminosity it gives my skin. Once again, my shade in here is LN4. And then when I go in with the matching shade in the powder foundation, I find that it adds that, you know, and I buff it in, it adds a little bit more coverage. It helps set it, but that satin finish in the powder doesn't take away from the luminosity of the liquid, which can be such a hard thing when you're working with a luminous liquid base and you want to set it with a powder. It's that battle of maintaining the luminosity of the liquid without totally flattening it with a powder. You're only using to extend the life of the foundation throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? So this I find strikes a really natural, beautiful looking balance where you get the coverage between the liquid base, the powder over top, but you're not losing that lumina. And granted, I'm wearing a lot of highlighter today, but I feel like especially down the center of my face, I'm getting everything I want in terms of cover coverage and finish. Like it's a healthy satin glowy looking finish, but I'm not ultra shiny at this point. I have been wearing this for seven hours now and it's in great shape. So that's actually how I found I really like to wear this foundation is not at all as a foundation, but more as a setting powder with coverage. So if you find yourself not loving this as a powder foundation, definitely try using it over your favorite foundations and see if you like it that way. Okay, that is everything I have to say about this foundation. I hope it was helpful. I know it was a long video, but hopefully, you know, it helped you make some decisions if you are looking at buying this or just struggling with how to use it yourself because you already have it in your collection. Really hope it was helpful, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.